Hey everybody, so we're going to do some benchmarks. This is um, kind of interesting maybe. Uh, you see i9-14900KS, awesome CPU, right? And then RAM-wise, I have, uh, for whatever reason, two sticks of different types of RAM or two pairs of different types of RAM in here. And I would have thought it would have ran at a default of 4533. I can't kick in the XMP. But um, this kind of gives you an idea of if, you know, if you have the lowest frequency RAM, potentially what your score is going to be. Um, but, you know, sometimes greater quantity of RAM outperforms a, a faster, smaller amount of RAM, right? So, um, but I, in the future, am going to eventually turn this into a 64 gig monster as far as the ram goes um do i really need it probably not so you can see uh one of the latest bios updates on here if not the latest and motherboard is a z690 Ares ultra one hell of a nice motherboard um you can get them a uh, decent price these days we got windows 11 on here and the graphics card, which it doesn't show, is RTX 3080 Ti, which should have nothing to do with this. All right, let's reset this. Uh, tempted to leave this on. We can turn on Hardware Info 64, I guess, when we do Cinebench, but um, this is uh, pretty cool. Now, have I done anything to this, folks? Uh, I haven't touched anything, right? We're defaulting this thing. Um, where is it? advanced tuning so in here normally I would adjust your power limits right so we should see power limit throttling um, hopefully we won't see power limit throttling and thermal limit throttling I don't know why the screen just blacked out on me again hopefully it didn't black out for you guys um, you'll see the uh, this thing should get up there close to 6 gigahertz and uh, what I have on here, folks, is, uh, what is it, Liquid Freezer 420. So that's three 340-millimeter um, fans. Uh, you can see that. That's about as low as you could hope to have the CPU, um, you know, for a CPU cooler that's not uh, uh, liquid uh, nitrogen or whatever on it, right? So let's go ahead and run this benchmark. I know nothing about liquid nitrogen. You know, I have you know multiple engineering degrees and taking some chemistry, physics. Probably screwed around with it at some point, but never with a computer. So, there we go. All right, let's run this. So you can see my XTU score. Boom. There's power limit throttling. The goal in this video is not going to be to do anything about the power limit throttling. All right. I uh, hate to tell you this. I'll do a separate video uh, for that. Now, 12991, I could have sworn one of my i9s, uh, my other i9s, hit that score before, right in that area. Um, but that's, uh, that's a pretty good score here. And once again, my screen just uh, went black again. Now it's back. All right, so did we have thermal limit throttling? I didn't even notice that. Let's check our temperatures. Max was 91, so we should not have had thermal and throttling. Um, power usage, 316. So if I go power, I set power limits to unlimited or find some other value greater than the default, uh, we will use more power. Now, one thing I don't have, I've got a thousand watt power supply, but um, I'm missing a CPU power connector, right? So we can't even um, give this thing all it can take. So we'll do that in an, another video when uh, I screw around with undervolting. Um, man, that's what it's going to take. Uh, uh, doing something with the undervolt, giving it a little more juice, um, and we will hit probably those top numbers that you can hit with this thing. But for now, it is what it is. Okay, so. What did we get to here? Only 5.79. We thought we could have got higher than that. Um, 
So that's a little disappointing. All right, I'm going to close this. Because we know, we really know, folks, this thing's going to power limit throttle. Um, definitely going to power limit throttle on Cinepinch. There is no freaking doubt about it. All right, so I've got on here, looks like I have three. Um, do we want to do all these? Oh, God, it takes forever. And once again, my screen just blacked out. So I'm recording this through uh, X, excuse me, OBS on a different computer. Let's do R23. I think this is the one that I care about the most because uh, I'm familiar with the scores. Now, uh, I'll tell you what my best score has been on this, um, knowing that it's going to uh, power limit throttle and potentially thermal limit throttle. Uh, after we do this test so that I, I see if we actually got the same score. And looks like I could update that. Um, so you guys will want to see, nobody cares about virtual memory. At least I don't think we do. We want these temperatures. We want to see power. We're not going to see that here. Um, now I'm going to close that. I apologize if anybody gave a shit about that. I'm going to have to come back. Okay. So, so we have everything we need right here, folks. Um, let's go in here and reset this just in case. I'll hit start, and then we'll go back to Hardware Info 64. This is going to be super fast. Okay, so... This is one hell of a monster processor. So you blink, it'll be done. Maybe not that fast, but out of all the CPUs I've ever done, this is the fastest. Um, so you see those temps getting up there. I did not notice if, uh, if we thermal limit throttled, but um, 94 is, is um, very close to that point where it would start to thermal throttle. I think uh, before I switched CPU coolers at 96, it was definitely thermal throttling. So you see temperature wise, it got up there, right? Um, this room I'm in is about 68 degrees Fahrenheit, just so you know. So we're not in some sweat, sweat box, sweatshop. Um, yeah, I'm in a basement in a, a northern state in the US and it is nice and cool in this basement. Even as I sit here in my tank top. But um, so power usage, folks. What did we get to there? 320. Okay, so that was more than XTU. Um, does this motherboard show you anything about the VRMs? I know. Bought, oh, there you go. So you can see what it got to. Um, I don't want to rerun this again on this. Now, the thing is, what is the temperature at at the moment? Now, let me scroll all the way down just so if whatever reason somebody wants to see something that I didn't show. Now, I had the RX, RTX 2080 Ti hooked up with this, and I got some comment from somebody. Your computer is bad. Like, I don't know. You know, if you're doing a gaming video, that might not be the best... Um, when I had the 2080 Ti on here, but um, this this computer is a monster. And then we have 3080 Ti. Eventually, we'll have a, a even better GPU on here, like the 7900 XTX. But um, it was some of these comments you get from people crack me up. I just make the videos to show <laughs> what what it does. Um, I don't think they realize that I have 40 graphics cards, close to 40 graphics cards and 20 CPUs, and it doesn't really matter to me <laughs> if, you know, if that combination's good or not. I'm just making the video to show you guys. All right. Finally, uh, as I ramble on, Cinebench R23 score, I have been in the 39,000 range, okay? This CPU is capable of over 40,000. And as you can imagine, thermal limit throttling, power limit throttling uh, will 
handicap that, right? So it is what it is. All right, let's close these up again. So our temperature currently actually running pretty hot, surprisingly. Um, eventually, it'll come back down. And my screen went blank again. I've never had that problem before, um, interesting enough. All right, so we'll just give you, I know some people probably care about the single benchmark, but single core benchmark, but yours truly doesn't want to do that. So we're not going to do it in this video. Um, let's see, is this set up to run correctly? I don't want this thing running all day. good so previously with this motherboard in this drive you can see I had the i7 14700 KF that was almost two years ago I think um, sadly here it is two years later and we're, we're doing finally doing the i9 14900 KF KS sorry um, you see I also had an i7 13700K on here and where it was. So we should be above, I believe, everything on here. Um, what other ones is, was mine? Nah, 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 nah. Yeah, that's it. I don't never owned any of these other ones, I don't think. All right. We'll hit run. Oh, we want to do a reset. All right. So hit that and hope this doesn't do 10 iterations. I ain't got time for that. All right, so it's booking along, folks. And there you go. It it crushed uh, the previous scores, but surprisingly, I don't know this Intel Xeon Platinum when that CPU came out, what motherboard it is, how it does for gaming. Nobody buys that for gaming, obviously, but um, that's still higher. Um, it was probably a multiple thousand dollar CPU when it came out. But yeah, 14,871. My screen flashed again. Uh, temperature, we got up to 93. So once again, close to that thermal limit throttling. I'm pretty sure we power limit throttled again. Um, you can see 320, 320 is what, uh, it hit right there. So not too bad. And obviously if we want to unlock this thing, we're going to have to, you know, do a few things, right? Now Cinebench R24, which I actually, um, this is where I brag. They contacted me before this came out, wanted me to run some benchmarks. And so I had it originally before, every, not everybody else, but most people. Um, and I found it to not be working so hot, um, which sucked because it ruined the excitement of, of me doing those videos. And now um, I'm sure it's good. I don't even know if this has been updated, if this is the original one. I should probably check into that because it might just crash on us. Um, Let's see, advanced. So we don't want, I am not doing therm test throttling. That, we don't have time for that. Oh, this actually shows you your GPU, cool. You guys can see that. All right, let's reset this. Our temps are down, um, not where they were at the very beginning. So obviously something is pushing the, the CPU in the background. Maybe having these two programs open. All right, let's go ahead and run uh, CPU multi-core.
this 2024 version takes longer. So what do we got? Power, less power. Temperature still up there at 93. Oh, we thermal limit throttled, folks. Bam. That sucks. So, like I said earlier, um, how are we going to get around that in the future to exceed these scores? We'll have to do some uh, undervolting. And I'm going to have to plug in another uh, CPU power connector. Ideally, we'd probably have four four pin CPU power connectors for this CPU, but uh, this motherboard only has three four pins. And you know, you need the really we'd need the uh, additional fourth if we we're gonna overclock it. I may, for the hell of it, um, overclock this at some point. But this thing's powerful enough. I mean. It comes a point, folks, where do you need more power? I guess it's just like cars, right? Everybody feels like they need more power, and most people don't need more power. Um, now, we do have the uh, 9800X3D, which um, I have not done really a good direct care comparison between the two. Uh, at some point, and it's kind of a little late, I think, but... I would like to buy the same motherboard brand um, that's spec'd out about the same, right? So we have a X670 that uh, if we had a comparative Z690, um, we could do something with that. Or if I had a X870 comparative Z790, um, we could do something there just to just to get an idea. How well they compare use the same RAM um, at least you know 32 gigs use the same graphics card which means you know I'm basically build one up do the tests and everything and then I swap the parts out right I mean, we're not we're not loaded on this channel so there's your score there 21 4, 48 I don't know how that even compares to anybody um, let's check the rankings, I guess. As the screen blacks out again. I don't even... Uh, I'm not sure why there's none on here. Well, maybe uh, we're not going to see shit. Alright, well, there you go, folks. That's what I wanted to show you. Thanks for checking out my video. Please like, please subscribe.